Recording in progress. Okay. Good afternoon once again and um, welcome. We have with us here the um, coach Routon of uh, the Cape Town Tigers and uh, we have uh, as well uh, Peter Prinslow from the Cape Town Tigers as well. I'll just give a quick reminder of the score of the game. U.S. Monesty 106 points, uh, the Cape Town Tigers 67 points. Of this uh, quarterfinal game of the Basketball Africa League uh, finals, I would uh, permit me exceptionally to start with you, Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, you came back from the half with uh, a hard hand, uh, two three-pointers for Cape Town Tigers. It was a very uh, positive start to to the to the second half and. Um, uh, leading the charge for your team, uh, trying as much as possible to get a very positive result this evening, but that was not the case. What uh, what went wrong, and what are the lessons learned from your participation in this competition? Um, you just you realize that when you play against a team like this, you have to play forty minutes of basketball. Um, you know, every mistake they're going to capitalize on it. They may, they will capitalize on anything you do wrong, um, and that's. That was our issue tonight. Um, you know, sometimes it's never it's never intentional, but you know, we took bad shots, quick shots. We fell asleep on defense at times, and it just it accumulates. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> you're not going to win basketball games like that. Um, when you play really good teams, you have to put a really great match together. And tonight we didn't do that. Um, obviously, we knew coming in that Monastery was a tough opponent, right. uh, and. Mm -hmm. First half, we didn't play great basketball, and we were still very close to it. Um, and then, obviously, in the third quarter, we were still fighting. But then you just see that at a certain point, when the breakdowns start happening, it's never intentional, but players individually try to take the charge. And sometimes we just have to stick to being a team, yeah. that no one person is going to win the game by themselves. And that kind of how just things just spiraled out of control at the end. Um, the game was close for most of the time and we were always just right there. We just couldn't get over that hump. And then, you know, when it finally broke down, it just no. spiraled out of control. No. Great. Coach, uh, um, the uh, Basketball Africa League and then get, getting the feedback from the, from the fans are particularly proud of this uh, Cape Town Tigers team for their first ever participation at the Basketball Africa League being in the final eight from Guguleto to Kigali, uh, the fans were very much behind the team. Uh, what was the message, you know, to the players immediately after g this game in the locker room? How did you try as much as possible to instill in them that confidence looking at the journey so far? So, um, so, so we've told the players now that for a year and a half, we worked really hard to get here. It was not an easy route right. uh, to get to Bal and to make it to a playoffs. So we're proud of, of the way the team have have done for the last year and a half and that's only be the beginning for the Cape Town Tigers. We will be back, we will be stronger and we'll do better next time. Thank you very much coach. What are your questions? Leonard from Leonard's question. Uh, coach Relton, uh, first of all congratulations under the circumstances really really impressive that that you got this far and, and fought fought as, as as long as you did uh, against such top opposition um do you feel overall that that you're you're satisfied with cape town tigers performance or being a competitor uh, do you do you walk away with a sense of it could have been more uh leonard we had a meeting um we, we watched the film session a few days ago and the owner sitting there at the back mentioned that, you know, I'm a competitor, I want to win. Um, so I'm walking away with satisfaction how far we came in the competition, but I'm not satisfied with the performance because I want to win and I feel that we had the necessary skill and talent to win, but the guys didn't stick to the game plan. Everyone was doing their own thing. Um, but as I said, we, we will work on that and we'll come back and we will definitely do better. Je pose en français. Yes. Ok, tu traduis. Mm -hmm. Bonjour, coach. Euh, la question, euh, vous dire le journaliste quotidien au Sénégal, 
La question de savoir euh, qu'est-ce qui, selon vous, vous a manqué dans cette compétition. Vous avez réalisé de bonnes choses euh, au Caire. Mais ici, à, Kig à Kigali, euh, qu'est-ce qu qui vous a manqué réellement pour atteindre euh, les, les demi-finales Merci. Coach, la question est de Wuri Tialio, qui travaille dans le quotidien a newspaper from uh, uh, Senegal based in Dakar. Um, the question is, you guys put up a stellar performance in uh, the night conference in Cairo. And what did you guys miss here in Kigali uh, from what you guys did in in uh, in Cairo? I guess it's, uh, it's, it's a simple answer. You know, we didn't play our brand of basketball. You know, we normally kick the ball up the court. We play our defense. You know, we play our press. If you're going to go look in the film, we probably didn't just, just play the press probably five times the entire game. And the game plan was we stay behind. So at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a matter of game plan was followed in Cairo. It wasn't followed here in, in Gigali. Yeah, I'll take one last question. Yeah, Eddie Roma, uh, Voice of America, Washington. Um, what's your overall impression of uh, the format of the quarterfinal, the final stages of the BR? So, uh, the competition is only in the second year. Um, they've done better than last year. Um, there's playoffs now, there's three months. So, no, I'm I'm uh, impressed with the way that the ball is, is, uh, is improving every year. I, I, I know next year it will be better. Um, I would have loved the playoffs to be, you know, more games. But as I said, uh, it's a second year that the league is running. Uh, we're not going to point any fingers, um, and we're happy with Palace, what the product Bal is putting on the table so far. Good. Thank you. So, as I continue to the question he asked, should we expect to see you to the next stage? I mean, the next uh, pair. Um. We will definitely work hard and do everything in our power as a team and organization to be back here. Um, as it does inspire a lot of people back in South Africa. Um, South Africa haven't played in national basketball for the last five years. So to come so far um, with a team we started two years ago, um, that's really inspirational for the country and for the fans. So we will definitely be back here. Uh, we will give 110%. Great. Thank you very much, Coach. Um, if there are no any other questions, thank you, Peter, for the journey so far. Thank you, Coach, thank you. and wish you all the best. I'm looking forward to seeing you next season at the Basketball Africa League. Thank you. Thank you. thank you. thank you very much. Welcome to this uh, post-game press conference for the game Union Sportive Monasterian from Tunisia and Cape Town Tigers from South Africa. The final score of this afternoon's game, 106 points for... U.S. Monesty and 67 points for the Cape Town Tigers. And uh, it's always a pleasure being here with my friend, my good friend, Modrak Parajit. Coach. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. And uh, for this wonderful uh, victory and you advancing to the semifinals of uh, the second season of the Basketball Africa League. How, how do you feel this afternoon, Coach? First of all, we was playing uh, with a team who is... Uh, who have really four or five, four great forwards, and uh, they have same two, three good local players. I didn't expect, honestly, to mm -hmm. it will be like this, because this team on the Nile Conference showed that have quality, and each games what they was playing it was equal. Only Zamalek, I think, beat them in one mm -hmm. after that 15, 20 points, but was three quarter, you know, equal game. So I was expecting that it will be much harder and. Uh, Let's say this game was much easier for us than what we expected, but uh, they don't uh, change anything. Our only one target and one goal was to try to go in the semi-final. Now he was making that, and now we should, from this moment, uh, think about the next game. Thank you very much, Coach Perisic. Coach, his ambition was to qualify for the semi-finals, and that has been done already. So we'll open the, the floor for questions from, from the press. And uh, remember to say your name, state your affiliation, and you ask your questions to the coach. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nikasius. Uh, my name is Nikasius from Clouds Media in Tanzania. 
uh, so coach, what I noticed uh, is uh, you kept playing two guards uh, in the in the team, while uh, the opponents were had length uh, to your guards. What was the what was the approach uh, to your game, considering that uh, at times uh, your opponents had much had much uh, had better length than you, but then you kept on putting more guards who actually gave you the points from shooting. How you mean I put more guards? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. No, I'm saying, uh, considering the opponents had, had length, but then you also, uh, you still played two guards who uh, most people can feel like they're undersized. What was the approach uh, considering that opponents had much more length? It's very simple. You know, we have our way how we are playing, we have our selection, so I don't want, you know, to accommodate to them. Why, why should they don't accommodate to us? So, I mean, why, you know, in the basketball, it's not point to every time accommodate. If you see somebody, you know, with five pivots, now I will put five pivots to play against them. You know, I mean, you know, you should play your system, your strategy, put the, you know, put little bit attention in the scouting, how they play, where they have advantage. So to try to close this, their advantage and uh, your advantage to try to use on the best way. So I think to, today that we was doing that. So I think because of that, uh, we had one, let's say, normal game. I even don't like because this game was so easy, to be honest, you know, but that's it. <laughs> Coach, uh, Leonard Solms from ESPN. Uh, I've heard many times throughout the course of this tournament from Cape Town Tigers players, including today even, that they don't feel that they're playing as a as a team. Um, do you feel it's it's safe to say that that was the difference between the teams today, or is am I am I oversimplifying it by saying that? That you should ask uh, their coach. As I said in the start, uh, they have really good roster, serious good roster. But uh, you know, it's uh, this this is one of the you know mistake. It's not. Uh, it's not everything in the players, you know, it's uh, a lot of things depends on from the work and to convince the player to be together, to depend from each other, you know, to help each other, to understand that nobody cannot do nothing individual, you know, this is not individual sport, box is individual sport and there you can go and show everything. So we had a lot of works and believe me, a lot of fights in our team to, you know, to come somehow to be, you know, better together, better together, to make each other better together. This team is not so strong like uh, Monastir last year, for example. We are missing uh, three national team players in this roster. So, you know, we was really working a lot, uh, working a lot on that chemistry of the team, on the, the way how the team is playing, you know. The guys accept, still, you know, still we are fighting, still, we, you know, we want to improve some things uh, fighting. It's not maybe hard work fighting, but still we are always trying to improve, you know, day by day, you know, this. And uh, I think this gives us result, you know, that we really was working hard, that these guys, uh, and we have good mix, you know, uh, it's very important selection. We had go uh, have good mix, you know, because Tun bet between Tunisian players, and uh, and uh, foreigners and like this we was trying you know and to make selection because you know if you bring somebody who cannot you know be together with uh, you know good 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 uh, acquisition or how to say you know with local players somebody who wants to play for himself or somebody who is selfish or if i have on that position very good local player why should i bring on that position foreigner you know you must think a lot you know about this and I think you know always you can make mistake but I think that we make uh, one really good group with our possibility because we are not so rich club but uh, we have some tradition you know people in our club fight for this and I think that we are on a good way like like it then and last year we was good thank you very much coach um before we we take questions just to uh, kind of remind that we have a uh, captain Radwan Slimani thank you Hi. good afternoon how are you yeah, good. Good. You're very happy to always have you here. Um, Slimani, I, from the moment you landed in Kigali, because we had the feeds when you landed in at the Kigali International Airport, you've been very confident about how your team is approaching this uh, finals of the Basketball Africa League. Today, you've earned uh, well-deserved uh, qualifications to the to the semifinals. How are you feeling 
with you and your teammates, especially as you're leading the charge in terms of, you know, uh, leadership and uh, driving your teammate forward together with uh, Majok. Um, how do you feel, you know, moving forward to the semifinals? And are you confident that you're going to be here on the night of uh, May 28th? Yes, from, from we come here, uh, I told you that I have full confidence in my team because we work a lot together. We, uh, we know each other, we know that we have good team, good individual player and also good chemistry. So our team is very strong and uh, I tell to the player that everything depends on us. We respect all the teams, we know that they have good players, they have good rosters, but some team they have individual player and they come here, they prepare maybe one week or two week, but our team is together for three or four months. We are practicing together, playing together, good chemistry. Uh, I, I, I'm uh, happy that today all the players they are in the tournament, all the players they play good, all the players they score. So it's good for us because we're going to need all the players in the next two games, two, two, some, two very important uh, games. And uh, I'm happy that in the stats, when you see a big number, is 32 assists. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very good, the best number in the, in the stats, because that shows that we share good the ball, we give extra passes. Yeah. Uh, I don't have, we don't have individual player who play selfish. Yeah. So that's good, and that gives the, the, the team a lot of confidence. Thank you very much, Lemani. I'll, I'll throw it back to uh, to the press to for questions. Thank you, Esela. Uh, I'm Robin from uh, Isangosta. My question goes to Sliman. Uh, is the second time for US Man still in the BAL, but last year you you lost w w against Zamalek. Uh, you think uh, this year you you be the champion according to the preparation for this BAL 2022? Thank you. So, we don't know that we're going to play against Zamel, of course, like the, <laughs> the game is <laughs> don't finish already. But uh, if we're going to face them in the semi-final, I don't going to say big word, it's revenge. It's not revenge, it's, there is no revenge in sport, but you can be in bad day in last last tournament. In the final, it was a bad day. We didn't have a uh, good percent in shots. We make a lot of uh, turnover, a lot of bad decision. We lose our game. And uh, so the, the, this is the sport. You, you can be the best roster or the best team. And, and one day you are out and you lose uh, the game or you lose the title. So we learn a lot from the, the, that game. And we hope now, like we prepare, we, pre we, uh, we prepare good this game. Next day, we have two days off. We're going to prepare uh, good for uh, the team. What we're going to play against Slack or Zamerik. We're going to respect all the teams and we're going to answer only, only on the court. Great. Take from, and then we'll take Queen. Oh, thanks. My name is Jolie. Worked for Voice of Africa Kigali. I have a question. My question goes to Captain. It may be seems like funny, but also interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, this is the second time here in Rwanda. You're going to ask about age? Not age. Ah, no. Okay. Because it's so funny. Okay. <laughs> he's, no, he's, he's, not he's, about married. Age. he's married. He's <laughs> married. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not about your age. Uh, this is the second time here in Rwanda, and you may seem familiar to the people here, even on uh, BA. BA air tournament how do you feel to be here for the second time that's my question it's not the second time it's the fourth time in two years i have been to bal and one uh, afro basket right, and one right, qualification right. for uh, for a world cup so like i said uh, to my, my friend i post this also in my uh, account in uh, twitter and uh, everything i like a lot a lot a lot kigali very good i, I was surprised first time when i arrived here very very good uh, country very clean country the guys are very uh, very respectful 
I'm very happy to be here and I have uh, good memories here. I won last Afro basket here in this area. So I lose one final BAL here, but I hope this year I I gonna win this uh, title who is very, very important for Tunisian basketball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Suman. Queen, and that will be the last uh, question. My name is Queen Mossop, right for OJB Sport Niger. Uh, Coach, I'm um, losing out of the um, tournament last year, the final last year. Are you on pressure to make up for that? And again, you lost in the conference, you lost one game in the conference. Are you feeling pressure to make up for that? Or are you just going to Pressure, it's always, you know, always should exist positive pressure, whatever you're doing in the life. Mm -hmm. And now it's a very important question, you know, to divide positive pressure and you know pressure who can uh, put you down right. you know on this you must work with your team as i said it's not everything ideal with us we are daily daily trying you know always to solve the problems you know but we are pushing our car we are going you know we are on good way uh because you know sometimes you know sometimes pressure can can go and bring the team totally in opposite way we come with the pressure we work with the pressure and we must you know, know what means the pressure, but, uh, uh, you know, in, in some moment, you know, uh, as I said, when we unit our, united yourself like he was doing these days, I think, you know, that uh, if he have pressure, I try to help him. If I have pressure, mm -hmm. he's coming to help me. Now we are, I think, much more than coach and, and for players. And uh, now we are, you know, together, like we must be, you know, only 15 of us. So everybody should do his job in the best way. Whoever fall down, we must give him hand to, to, to stand up. And uh, we are working on that, you know, daily. So pressure, it is, that's, you know, but we are useful on the pressure. You know, we had 23 games in the last two months from uh, after Senegal. We, was, we came here very tired. This is uh, the, the biggest problem of our team, that uh, we came pretty tired on this tournament. So we take our last sources, you know, because we didn't have two days after final of the cup to travel to Kigali. You know, this was Kigali, sorry. This was our program. But, you know, we cannot cry about that. You know, we stand up, we are men. And I think that, uh, I think that we will, you know, continue good on this tournament and to try to give the best what we can to pass the next opponent, whoever will be probably the last. Thank you very much, Coach Perizic. Thank you very much, Slimane. Thank you. And uh, see you on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Yes, <laughs> thanks.